Hey, hey everyone. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. And <clears throat> as promised, we're going to start doing our Halloween um, crafts. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. And if you really like it, you can share it with your friends. Invite them over to join the party. <clears throat> okay. Let's get started. Um, now, I don't know um, if Dollar Tree has got out their Halloween stuff yet or not. This is from last year. Um, so, <clears throat> I just dug into my stash because this is a wreath that I wanted to do last year and just never got around to it. So, um, I cut the ring and the very top of that off. Um, and I've got some tool here. It's the purple tool. And I cut it in about four inch little strips. And we're just gonna kind of spruce up the little um, witch feet. So I'm gonna take some hot glue. <clears throat> and y'all, I was absent for a couple of weeks. Um, I had gotten down sick. So that's the reason for the delay in my videos. And it's also the reason why I'm hacking and coughing. Um, I am much, much better. Um, I have missed y'all. I have missed being on here <clears throat> and getting new content out. I would come in, uh, come in my craft area and I would try to sit here and I would try to get some stuff together and it wouldn't last but a few minutes and I had to go lay back down. So rest a little bit. And then I would try it again and, and back and forth, you know how it is. Um, but I cannot tell you how happy I am to be back. Feeling better, still a little weak, but much, much better. I could actually sit here and do some crafts without feeling like I'm gonna pass out. So that's exciting to me. I love, love, love to be in my craft room and um, be creating and, and making stuff and, and sharing it with y'all. And <clears throat> um, this is, it's got Dollar Tree parts in it, but it's not really a, a full Dollar Tree project. Um, the legs came from Dollar Tree, which we're embellishing them and adding on. Going to make them a little bit cuter. Um, I've got ribbon. It's wired ribbon. I've got mesh. Definitely not, not from Dollar Tree. Um, I got it at a little local store here. Um, a lot of times I'll get my mesh from... Deco Exchange or from Craft Outlet. Um, I get you could if you wanted to make this a Dollar Tree a wreath, you um, you could use some of their mesh and probably you know get close to the same results. <clears throat> so nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I added some tool and then I've added some lime green. Um, fuzz. That's what we're going to call it. It's a boa. So, I think we're through with that part. Alright, I had some little dowels and I cut one end off. On this end, I'm going to cut like a, at an angle and try to make it into a point. Excuse me, y'all. I keep clearing my throat. It's just because I'm 
Still a little raspy. All right, um, I've got some polyfill here. It's not gonna take much. Probably won't even take that much. These are little thin stockings, so if you stretch them too much, they're gonna get little runs in them. Um, can't help it, it's just, because I guess they're from the Dollar Tree and they're just, if you stretch them, they're gonna, so just be real careful with that. And um, I didn't put very much in there. It's okay if she if she's got lumpy looking legs. So we're gonna add a little bit more. Um, Y'all, one day I thought I was feeling okay. And so I came in here and I recorded a video. <clears throat> I went to download it and realized it had went sideways. So it recorded the whole thing sideways. So y'all would have gotten one during this time if, if it hadn't recorded wrong. I'm like, really? So I was too tired to redo it. So it hasn't gotten redone yet. So I've got to do that. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and push this through the stocking right down here I'm gonna push it out <clears throat> not quite even an inch I'll put a little glue there so it don't come no further because these are just little they're flimsy and so i want the shoe part to stand up and not flop over so i'm just gluing it down into the shoe a little bit and i will tell you what i have done <clears throat> in a wreath before if you're wanting to use these from the dollar tree and you're not you know you don't want them this thin because it's just one piece of felt. I have taken my own felt and drew the pattern around and made it a lot thicker. You can do that too. Okay. Now let's see. Make sure I've got that. I'm going to put a little glue up here at the top. And then I'm going to gather this. Be careful because it's hot. Put a little bit more glue there. Okay. All right. I'm going to set that there and kind of let that start drying. And we're gonna move on to the next step. All right. This is a little um, bit larger than what I had really planned on, but um, I couldn't find a smaller styrofoam wreath. So this is the one I have. I got it from Walmart. Um, it's two inches by 15.6 inches so it's almost 16 inches and it's the big styrofoam wreath okay so <clears throat> now um this is wired ribbon that i already had and i wanted it black i did not want the green styrofoam so i rolled it in save y'all from just watching me roll and roll and roll all i did was just i got some floral pins i stuck a floral pin in and started wrapping around and around and around and i also put a little dab of hot glue in there and you just you work your way all the way around 
And see, that would have been boring just to sit here and watch me just roll ribbon all the way around. So, y'all, the more room I get, the more room I need. Who else is like that? <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to slide this up under the last little ring there. I'm going to add some glue. what I probably need to do well I'll do that next um you don't have to buy this many but I ordered some floral pins <laughs> it's definitely not gonna take that many all right I'm going to get some and just throw them out here. This is um, a little skillet. Just a little mini skillet. Kitchen skillet. And I put hot glue in it and let it melt. Um... I did my first one and I didn't use my skillet but I think it will be easier to do the skillet than to do it with a hot glue gun because I was mashing the handle getting my little uh, floral pins and trying to wipe the glue off of the little thingy there so to go up a little bit more okay so our next step y'all is gonna be the black <clears throat> trying to wait for that dry a little bit um what this is gonna be is a cauldron pot it's gonna have the witch legs coming out of the out of the top of the pot and it's going to have like the green uh, potion stuff with the bubbles and then on the bottom it's gonna have like the fire okay I think it's gonna be cute I did try it because um, I didn't want to get on here and look like a complete dummy <laughs> I wanted to make sure I could do it so, here we go. Now, <clears throat> this is just 10 inch um, deco mesh. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm folding it a third and then another third so that it's um, three layers there. This would probably be easier to put on a roll here. This is where your um, floral picks are going to come in handy. And I may have to stand up for this. Um, I told y'all I needed more room. My husband wouldn't agree. He might say I needed to get rid of some stuff. That's what he that's what he would say. Okay, now this is where that needs to go on and melt now. 
I need you to mail. This is where your pins are going to come in handy. And I'm going to stick them just like that. I'm putting glue on them so that they'll stay in there and not come out. I'm hoping that don't fall over. There we go. We're going to get this all figured out, y'all. Maybe by the end of the the video here we'll have it all fixed up it's a little frustrating on getting it started yeah now we're cooking with grease now you're getting hot aren't you like I said, you don't have to have the hot glue pot. It just makes it a little easier. I think this is going to be easier to turn it this way. You're going through several layers of ribbon. Good thing about this, you can just throw those other pieces of um, glue back in there and it'll melt again. And y'all may know an easier way to get this done than I do. I'm trying to wrap it so that um, you don't see all the pins. seems easier than the other end. <coughs> and I'm using the 10 inch mesh. I don't know if the 21 inch mesh would have been easier or not. Like I said, I've only made one of these previously. And that was just to try it. So I'm trying to keep it folded three times so that it's thicker. Probably the most frustrating um, step of all of it. The the winding of the 
uh, ribbon is not frustrating. It's just time consuming. I'm just getting this mesh to cooperate with you. It's wanting to act like that witch. <laughs> so we're going to get it. And it wouldn't be as bad, but I'm trying to hide my, my pins, little pins. <clears throat> and a lot of this, I guess that would be covered up anyway, because we're going to be putting the red or the orange on one end, and we're going to be putting green on the other. make Halloween wreaths. I don't personally decorate for Halloween. Halloween is such a short season in there. Um, so I wouldn't have time to get Halloween up before it'd be time to take it down. I do like to decorate for my fall and for Christmas. I feel like fall is just short too. We're we're getting somewhere, y'all. This um this one turns out really, really cute. trying to overlap some to make it a little um, thicker. Close to the end. The other side here. And I got these floral pins from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, you might could get them at Walmart. Our Walmart did not have any. Um, Hobby Lobby might have some. You can check there. I'm not sure about Michaels. Just be careful with it. By putting the glue on there, it just helps to stay inside the styrofoam. Okay. We don't have another loop or two, and we'll be done with this step. Then it's the fun stuff. It's all the fun stuff. Putting all the embellishments on and the... All the decorating it. I've had my, some of my um, followers to ask for some Halloween crafts, so 
I said I got to get these on here. And I had wanted to make this one last year. Just never got around to it. All right, I have scissors somewhere, y'all. I really do. <laughs> I told y'all I did. Hmm. Okay, let's see how we're gonna wrap this up here. And so, I know you can kind of see through it right now, but when it's up against the wall or the door and we get all of our other stuff on here, you won't be able to see through it. still going to be using our pens. I got glue all over me. And I have me a board and then I covered it with um, aluminum foil because my table is plastic. So I've got that all protected. Some this stuff moved away from me. Maybe y'all can see a little better. All right, now the grain is 10 inches, um, 10 inch mesh, and I cut it in 20 inch strips. So let's see. I'm going to curl it on each end. And then gather it in the middle. And so, <clears throat> top or bottom, it, it doesn't matter which is which. Um, so, let's see here. Um... to pin these down in there. All right, we'll do the same thing with this one. Curl it on one end, flip it around. Put a curl on this end, mash it, and walk, it, walk your fingers up through the middle of it. <coughs> Pinch it. And then I'm going to butt it up close to that one. Thank you. 
and I'm putting two floral um, pins in there. Um, just so they are secure. I do have them pre-cut. Um, that one just hit the floor. It takes a little time. If you don't want to watch this step, you can fast forward through this part. <clears throat> um, some people like step-by-step -step instructions, so for the ones that want to watch it, can you stick around? The ones that want to fast forward through, can fast forward. And I have wrapped my um, styrofoam really, really good with all that ribbon, and it's wired ribbon. It's pretty thick. So getting those little pins through there. <clears throat> and I would rather double pin them and them stay than for them to fall out. I just take a closed pin, clamp it, turn it around. I think I got um, two inch floral pins. I think that's, yes, two inch. They had some bigger, they had some smaller. Um, but I got the two inch. That was an end piece. And <clears throat> this is supposed to be our potion. So I, um, for our bubbles, I am using the plastic um, Christmas balls. I did not have the color that I needed. So I painted them. So. Um, yeah, you just kind of improvise when you don't have what you need, take what you got, and make it what you need. And just where I've gathered that, it's backwards for me, y'all, is where I'm putting those pins in. for my fire. So y'all have to let me know what you think about the wreath when I get finished with it. part is going to be on the bottom, I mean on the top, and the witch's um, legs will be sticking out of the top, and then her hat will look like it's, you know, falling out of it also. Y'all, I 
I've got fire cut up over here. And I thought these were the same, but I don't think they are now that I'm looking at them. So. We don't have but a few more of these to do. Then we're going to create our fire. We're just putting a few down here in front. I ended up having to um, paint three coats of the lime green on the balls to get them to cover because that lime green is so light. You just really wasn't wanting to cover too much. And that little skillet just comes in so handy. Like I said on the first one, I was trying to mash the little trigger there on my glue gun and then wipe it and hold everything. And yeah, that was a hot mess. That was a hot mess. I was like, ah, I got to find where I put my, my glue pot. <clears throat> you know, I put everything up trying to organize and that's usually when I can't find nothing. Okay. I think this is about our last one next to it and the the fire I cut little strips you know because it's got to look like it's got little flames going up so I think I even cut some of those in like four foot four foot four inch my brain's still on vacation I guess I'll sick leave one Push that joker down in there. Now I'm gonna use this as a little curl. Why waste it? It's just a short one. So we're gonna throw it in here. Why not? That glue sticks to me. Yeah, 
And glue pots are handy. So this is what it's looking like so far. So we're going to put our fire on. And I've got some, some that are just rolls. I still don't think they're, but about six inches. So. <clears throat> And let me share something. You see this tool right here? It loves mesh. And if it touches mesh, it just, and it'll rip. So, the moral of that story is, keep it away from mesh. Yeah. All right, these, you're just gonna have to play with them is all I'm gonna say about this because um, to get them to look like fire, some is gonna be coming out. Then we're gonna have some that's going up. may be one that needs to go up. So I'm making some in little just like little curls I guess you would say. It'll start coming together after we start getting the little flames coming up. We'll start seeing it. This thing is the most awkward thing to hold and maneuver. will start to fray a little bit. You can trim it. I mean, you're not going to be able to keep it from fraying. But see how that one is into a point? That's when we're going to put some of them going up. See, that'll kind of make that look like a flame. And when we get all of our flame zone, then we can kind of come back and kind of trim up where it's fraying a little bit, but you're not going to keep it from fraying at all. You'll have some scragglies. And I hate it, but... Way 
it's going to be. All right. I know I had more cut, didn't I? I'm saying no. I may have to cut a few more. I thought I had enough cut. Not quite. All right, what we got down here? We want it coming up. What I'm doing is just cutting at an angle. I obviously do not have enough orange cut for our fire. So let me whip out a few of these. I have a rotary cutter here. Be very careful with these things. They are quite the dangerous. I have been on a live video before and sliced my finger. It did hurt quite bad. Let's see if that's enough. I'm gonna try to pull these at an angle in case I need to trim them to make them look like the flames going up. Let's see. We're going to need some more in the middle here going up. I can put another pin in this one and get it to cooperate with me. There we go. See, you use quite a many pins for this project. here.
So we have used um, that one. Let me redo that one. <coughs> we have used a styrofoam wreath. I had the black ribbon that I wrapped the wreath in. Um, then I had a roll of lime green, 10 inch mesh, a roll of orange, 10 inch mesh, and a roll of black, 10 inch mesh. Um, You're gonna need floral pins. Then, we'll have to cut some more. Cause I want it to be full. I don't, I mean, we could stop here, but I, I want it to be full. I want it to look good. So, um, then I have a witch hat. We have a set of witch legs. And I did not use the whole roll because I also used this on um, the other wreath also. So it doesn't take a whole roll of orange or a whole roll of green. Um, it did take most of the roll, well I say probably two thirds of the black. But, um, and then some, um, got a piece of tape in there, y'all. <laughs> um, some Christmas balls. So, let's see what we're looking at. Right. And mesh grabs on the mesh also. It's looking good. It really is. looking for some more orange. I thought I had laying out of here. I think I just pushed my leg off, y'all. Here's my... Let me see. There it is. I found her leg. wanting now is the flames to go up. See how that one goes up in the middle? That's what we're needing of those.
rolling this one at an angle. If we can't get some of those flames going up there. have to see because that's got that's not the same shade I'll have to get my other we're gonna make this work right now I'll have to go get on the other side and get my other orange because that is a shade different all right but it'll have some flames coming up like this I'll roll them in an angle and it'll have some coming up through there I'm not going to hold you. Um, this is the witch hat. It does that tool and that mesh together. All right. Breaking. This is a headband. So, um, let's see here. See what we can find. Cut a hole in her head here. And put some glue, just like this. I'm putting a good little dab. Her hat is falling out of the, the potion stuff. I think I'm going to trim that a little bit. I'm going to put some glue on it. don't want us to go through. Hang on just a second. It's got glue everywhere. I'm sticking to it. Of course I didn't have this problem on the first one because I wasn't recording it. So we're gonna make this little point. Once again, and 
I'll glue it after we get it in there. I'm gonna take a little screwdriver. There we go. Now we cook them with grease. Good bit of glue in that thing. And let her sit there. She's being contrary today. All right, I got a scraggly piece. Y'all, I'm sorry, it just bugs me to have that glue on there. Okay, let's get to going now. We're gonna poof, poof that all up in there. And let's see. I need to clean my glue gun, it looks like. All right. We have our witch legs. And so you kind of see how it's looking. There's the fire, here's your hat. See a little piece of my orange down here. And the reason why it's so hard to go through, because you know we we've got all that mesh, then we got the ribbon, then we got the styrofoam. So it's got to go through all those elements. And there it went. Yay! And once I get them through there, I'll come back and put glue around it. But it is giving me a booger. So just FYI, y'all, you might face a challenge. Here we go. She's got her legs up in the air now. Yay. Okay, now we're gonna shoot it with some glue. So that it doesn't back out. Y'all remember the song, She Worked Hard For The Money. Ooh, so hard for me, honey. Okay, so we got our witch feet, legs. Here's your hat. We gotta put the bubbles in. I feel like I got strings of glue everywhere. Okay, so. 
when you need something to dry your balls on, you improvise. So I took little um, Chanel stems and wrapped it in there and hung them to dry so they wouldn't mess up. Y'all see the parts that are a little frustrating to work on. Now, what I did was, you'll need to be careful doing this, or if they're plastic anyway, they'll pop and bust. So I kind of made little slits around, and then, Popped them off the little tops. You, you might not be able to see them, so you might not have to do that, but I did. So, anyway, because she's, you know, in all of her potion here, and it's Turn it around on yourself. You're gonna get burned. Okay. Who needs fingerprints? Who needs them? Fingerprints, palm prints. It's all going. Why don't you have fingerprints? Well, I'm a crafter. That should explain it all. That should give all new meaning to no fingerprints. Not an outlaw, just a just a crafter. I think the little the balls just kind of. You know, it just puts that element on there that just kind of tops it off, you know. And I even have some little ones. So if you decorate for Halloween, would you make one of these? Would you hang this on your door? I think it turns out cute. Okay, let's see. Let's put one up here on top. I'm sorry for it taking so long. But I appreciate y'all watching. And like I said, if you like my videos, please share. here on on top all right we got one more I will show y'all the other one that I made it looks pretty close to the same and would you could put more balls on here if you would like. You know, put as many or as few as you as you want. I got one, two, three, four, five, six.
So, I will add a few more. I gotta go find my, the rest of my other orange here. But I'm gonna put a few more flames, of the big flames coming up. Um, and she'll be through. And I got y'all a little closer to me. I guess I shouldn't have, but I want you to see better. But I'm going to have to take a picture and let y'all see. Get her up close. There's the fire, and I'll add more to that. See, there's her potion, her hat, her feet. Okay, and here's the one that I already made. It's basically just like that. Got a scraggly here and here. Like I said, it frays a little bit, but there's no way to keep it, not if you want it to look like flames, there's no way to keep it from it. But here's the first one that I made. And she's got a little bit more of a fancier um, hat. So this one has the purple legs. There we are. So thank y'all for sticking around with me. Let me know in the comments um, if you like them. And if, you know, if, if you decorate for Halloween, if you would make one of these or hang one of these on your door. And until next time, I love you all. And I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I will be getting some more Halloween decorations together to make so that, um, Y'all can get to crafting for Halloween. Thank y'all. And until next time, get to crafting. Make something pretty. And remember, I love you all. Good night, y'all.